What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. Hey, man, Drake came through with a big announcement, man. He finally signed the first lady of OVO Sound, okay? She goes by the name of Naomi Sharon, okay? She joins the ranks of PopCon, Magic Jordan, Party Next Door, Division. So clearly, you could tell that they have their own distinctive vibe, distinctive sound, you know what I'm saying, that they've been crafting over the years. Of course, Drake, we can't even overlook any of the impact that he's had as an individual artist putting that team on his back. But let's get into this introduction of who Naomi Sharon is. So Naomi Sharon is an R&B singer. She's of Dutch and Caribbean descent, originally from the Netherlands, all right? Keeping up with everything that they've been doing at OVO, this is an international-based label, okay? Drake really is not consumed with American music. As much influence as he draws from hip-hop and American rap, most of the people on his label contribute primarily international vibes. So this doesn't surprise me not one bit. It's also interesting to note that uh, when Drake debuted or made the announcement on Instagram, it seemed like she had been down with the OVO squad for some time now. So as of right now, I'm not sure if she's been, you know, in the studio contributing to other projects that they were putting out. I don't know if she's contributed directly to Drake's music. I'm sure if I went and checked the credits on all of that stuff, she'd probably pop up somewhere. But he seemed very excited to be putting her out at this moment. So much so that they're debuting two singles from her at the very same time, okay? So the first song is called Another Life. She has a music video for it, everything. I checked that one out. She also has another one called Celestial, which I checked out as well. Both songs feature production from OVO's in-house producer, Noah Forty, Shabib. Y'all know 40, man. He's all His fingerprint is all through everything they do. And uh, Bo Knox. I really don't know who Bo Knox is all that well, but I'm sure if I check the credits once again, he's probably all up through there as well. So on Instagram, Drake says, Naomi Sharon, I've been waiting for this day for too long now where the world finally gets to digest the insane amount of work you have put in since we met. My dear friend just dropped her single, Another Life on OVO Sound. 433,000 people like this post. You already know it's finna go crazy. In her own social media post, she wrote, words cannot express how happy I am. I can finally share this news with the world and I cannot thank you enough for this insane opportunity. Now, outside of being a songwriter and singer, Naomi is also a theater actress, okay? She's acted in plays like The Lion King. She's also been a social media influencer for some time. Her first single came out back in 2019 called The Moon. Now, I don't know if she was affiliated with Drake back during that time, but it's been three going on four years since that song came out, and now she's ready to share her talent with the world. Now, listening to those two new singles that are out, here's my assessment of Naomi Sharon, where she fits in with OVO, and where she fits into the landscape musically, just overall. I think she has a beautiful voice, uh, kind of reminds me of like a Sade type, you know what I'm saying, which I think is a very smart move for Drake. Y'all know he really wanted to sign Georgia Smith. Y'all know he really wanted a little bit more from Georgia Smith too, but we ain't even really going to go there. So to me, she kind of fits in that type of spotlight. She kind of fits in that Sade, Georgia Smith, Snow Allegra, that whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like the production on the songs that are out, they kind of have a little bit of 80s bop to it but not so much that it's like too much like the weekend like it's tribute almost it sounds modern it sounds dramatic it's kind of like a post pop type of sound you know what i mean it's not something that i can necessarily hear just banging all day on the radio it's not really gonna hit the urban market all that much of course she is kind of racially ambiguous when you look at her kind of gives me emily sande type vibes also which i think will work in her favor especially having the ovo stamp behind her she's gonna get a lot of radio play, you know, on the pop, on the festival circuit, I'm sure she's going to go up. So me personally, I think that this is going to be a very interesting story to watch develop, man. By the time she puts out an album, I'm curious to see, you know, how they put a project together on her, how diverse the project may be, or if they're going to stick to one particular market that they push her into. And again, like I said before, I really see her kind of tackling that Georgia Smith market. She hasn't been incredibly active over the last couple of years. You know, she kind of came on the scene she dropped some music everybody was very enamored with her by the looks you know what i'm saying she's a pretty girl but she hasn't been extremely active she may pop up this year and you know go on a tier i don't know i can't predict the future but i think if i'm in drake's position and it's like okay i was really trying to get this girl down with my label we could have made it happen it never was able to come to fruition i'm gonna snatch up somebody who's a little bit similar not completely a clone or a carbon copy but somebody who can dance in that lane a little bit, put my stamp on it, 
Plus, she has her own talent. Plus, she has her own look, her own aesthetic. This is going to probably go. Being on the outside looking in, I definitely think this was a smart move. Any and everybody can benefit from having a dope woman singer or a woman artist on their label right now. The women are running music. You got to just concede that as what it is right now from hip hop, R&B to any other genre you might want to name. The women have the baton. It probably would have done him a great service to sign a woman sooner. But for me to go into that and take a deep dive would really just be splitting hairs at this point. Checking out this interview she did with a website called Rayam. Um, I'm going to give a couple of quotes that's that's out there just to kind of give you a glimpse of what she's like and what she's about. She says, my inspiration comes from past events or journeys I've made physically and mentally. I'm most curious about what's outside of this planet. The universe keeps my head busy. So based on the jargon that she's using here, you can kind of tell, you know, she's probably fascinated with time travel. I mean, she's talking about mental journeys that she's been on. So you already know she's coming with some metaphysical type ish. When it comes to what keeps her mentally stimulated, she says pretty much through music and deep conversations I have with friends, it brings me a lot of peace and it also inspires me to write. There's not a great wealth of information out here on Naomi Sharon, so we're all going to have to get to know her a bit as much as we can uh, moving forward. I hope that they go ahead and, you know, blast her out, do some social media content, some real behind the scenes, intimate glimpses into what's going on with her situation, talk about her rise to prominence, all of those types of things. Hopefully some documentation on how this partnership came about gets released because personally, I did not know who she was before this announcement came. I'm sure a lot of people probably feel the same way. So the storytelling element is always very important when it comes to a new artist in order for people to get engaged into what they have going on. I mean, yeah, she's a pretty girl. She has a nice voice. Songwriting is pretty good. But what's her story? What's she about? Where she's taking us? All of those things are going to be very important. I'm not here to critique anything at this moment. I'm just here to inform with what I've been able to gather. If you've heard the song Celestial and um, Another Life, go ahead and let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. If you've heard her previous music, she has about four singles that came out before this and y'all want to educate me on what she's got going on, please feel free to do so in the comments. All right. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the post notification bell for our updates and I will see you guys on the next one, all right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, bet I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the back. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, bet I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the back.